instead of learning it as a scale, because if I taught it to you as a scale, you would have just learnt it as a scale, practiced it as a scale, and then gone on to perform it as a scale when you solo and stuff. And you don't want to perform it as a scale. You don't hear people playing scales up and down in blues music. You want to learn it as a shape because this is going to get it into your hand much easier. It's going to make you feel it rather than, you know, practice it going up and down. So this way you're going to realize that you can start making these really nice blues sounding things just using these shapes. And if you'd gone up and down the scale, instead you'd now just be going like, which doesn't sound that good, but these shapes, they include like chords in them and you can play them as lines. They got sixths in them, which we're going to talk about later. They got thirds in them, which we're also going to talk about later. Uh, so your next job is just to keep practicing this, get it embedded into your muscle memory and get really comfortable with these major shapes.